My name is Assistant Chief Scott Dingy with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Investigations Division. Uh, approximately 549 this morning, we had patrol officers dispatched to the uh, 22 block, 2200 block of Hilly Road here uh, in reference to a shooting into a residence. Uh, inside that residence, uh, two people were shot. Uh, Cheryl Rubright, white female, age 45, and her daughter, Julia Rubright, white female, age 12, were both struck. Uh, they were both taken to a local hospital with what are believed to be non-life-threatening injuries. Uh, there was an additional uh, two adults and one child in the house as well at the time of the shooting. Everybody in the house was uh, sleeping when the gunfire erupted. Um, we believe uh, there were over 20 shots fired from a rifle into the house. Um, we do not know the suspects at this point, the number of suspects or anything about the suspects other than we do believe uh, uh, we have a possibility of a vehicle seen fleeing the scene. Uh, it would be a dark colored small vehicle, two doors uh, with a loud customized type muffler. Um, we would encourage anyone with any kind of information to contact the sheriff's office at 630-0500 or call in anonymously through Crime Stoppers at one 866 eight, four, five tips. Um, at this point, we don't have an exact motive, but we, we do have indications that it might be drug related at, at some, in some manner, in some manner. Um, and I could take any questions that you have. Chief, uh, you mentioned drug related, but I mean, I'm guessing it's almost targeted. Yeah, the house, the house was definitely targeted. Um, we do have uh, some information that we're following up on that it could be related to, to drugs at some, in some manner, but that's all we have at this point. Any idea what type of weapon was used, handgun uh, or rifle? We do. It was a rifle, but I'm not going to say anything more about the type of rifle. We heard that the 12-year-old girl was in surgery. It's, it's my understanding, yes, she is in surgery. Can we get spellings for those names, too? And it... uh, it's my understanding Cheryl is spelled S-H-E-R-Y-L, Rubrite, R-U-B-R-I-G-H-T, and Julia, J-U-L-I-A. That is mother-daughter? Mother-daughter, correct. So what part of the house were they in when they were struck? Uh, they were in the front part of the residence, in a, in a bedroom. Some neighbors we talked to said uh, this neighborhood has been kind of in a tough spot for a long time. Has there been uh, a history of anything drug-related around here? Have you seen any frequent crimes in I don't know offhand, honestly. Any other questions? Any, any drugs found in the house or anything that would lead you to believe that it is related to, to drugs? Or there were no drugs. No, we did not find any drugs in the house. But like I said, we do have information that this could be related to a drug, maybe a drug debt, something along those lines. Just speaking anecdotally, how sad is it that a 12-year-old girl was caught in the middle of this? Any Anytime we have a, an innocent person shot is obviously sad. And, and we have, unfortunately, too much of that you know, going on in our city. And uh, honestly, this is a cowardly act. You know, Anybody that would sneak up on a house at 6 in the morning uh, on a Sunday while people are sleeping and, and shoot into a house, that, that's a coward in, in my book. Um, so, yeah, obviously it's a tragedy when you have a, a child involved as well. At this point, any idea if there was more than one shooter? Like I said, we have no, I can't say anything about number of shooters at this point. But what about the possible charges once the suspect is actually caught? Uh, we obviously have shooting into an occupied dwelling. We have an aggravated battery, you know, involving a firearm. You could uh, potentially attempted murder even. Who were the other uh, three people in the house, did you say again? You said it, uh, uh, it was basically a mother, a father, the 12-year-old, uh, they had an adult son, and there was a one-year-old in the house as well. And how long had they been in that residence? Do we know? We heard they were fairly new to the neighborhood. It's my understanding, approximately six months. They've been renting for about six months at this point. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for